What's up guys, it's time for another Monday bonus video. We're going back out shopping for vending inventory. So let's go ahead and hit the stores. Let's see what we're gonna buy for our vending machines in this video. Watch all the way to the end. Enjoy the show. What's up guys, it's Matt with Galaxy Games 843 back with another Monday bonus video. As you can see, we're starting it off by shopping at Sam's Club. And today we're looking for Coke, which I'm not seeing any Coke. There's the Coke minis right there, but I don't see any regular Coke cans. And we're also going to buy some, I think, Monster Energy. We'll probably buy lots of Monster Energy in this video. And quite a few other things we're looking for. So if you recall our previous shopping video, we were looking for Red Bull Blue. And we're always looking for Red Bull Blue. So we'll, today we'll look to see if there's any sales or deals on Red Bull Blue. But for now, we're just looking for a few specific things, at least at this Sam's Club. We're going to go to multiple shopping destinations today, though, so make sure you watch all the way to the end of the video. All right, up first, we got some Monster Energy. As you can see, I think it was $1.54 or something like that. I may, I may have totally missed the price. I'll put it up on the screen if I was wrong, but uh, well, let's see here. Rice Krispie Treats are next, $0.38 cents a piece. We sell them for a dollar, so that's a pretty good size. And then we're going to do some more Pop-Tarts, too. Make sure when you buy Pop-Tarts, they say, ideal for home business and vending, just like that because you want them individually wrapped for you to put into your machines. If they don't say that, they're going to have those foil wrappers on them and therefore not be able to be vended in your machines. Up next, we got Famous Amos at 42 cents a bag. We'll take those for sure. We sell those for a dollar and maybe soon a dollar 25. Who knows how that's going to work? Because we're talking about raising prices, obviously, that's been the next big thing. Here is our Wise Variety Chips. It's $13.98 for 50 and I'm checking the dates on those right there, as you can see. That's one reason why I like to shop in store is I can make sure I have the latest dates possible. Now, all of them here were May 15th of 2023. So we'll go ahead and buy a box of those as well because we'll need those too. And then I think that is just about it for Sam's Club. Let's see. Now, okay, let's grab some Texas cinnamon rolls. We're going to try these out at the tire place. Currently, we have honey buns in there and they're doing okay, but they're not doing great. Honey buns expire so fast. Let's try out those cinnamon Texas rolls, Texas cinnamon rolls, and then we'll move on and we'll get some Snickers too. And these are super expensive as you can see so these we definitely need to raise the prices currently we're doing dollar 25 i think it's time to go to dollar 50 on those all right let's move on to our next location this is bj's wholesale club kind of like sam's club not as much selection not as great of prices but a little closer to me anyway so as you saw we didn't find any coke cans in sam's club but it looks like bj's has plenty of them so let's go ahead and pick up a pack of these and guys i hate these packs right i hate how you know, when loading them into machines, it's a, it's a giant pain. So I've been putting those inside milk crates to load into the machines rather than bringing this uh, this thing here. So, yeah. So let's take a look around BJ's. Let's see what else there might be cool to go in our machines. You know, like I said, they don't always have the greatest selection, but there's, you know, some M&M's, some peanut M&M's, some Snicker bars, some variety packs there. They do have some Sour Patch Kids there, which we already have a good stock of right now. Um... But they mainly have variety packs, which is what we're seeing here. There's some Starburst up top, though. We, you don't see those very often here. So that's good to know. And then we're going to get more into the bulk vending uh, section here with the peanut M&Ms, the regular M&Ms, Skittles, things like that. Things you see Quick Play put in their bulk vending machines, for sure. There we go. I did notice they had some, uh, I don't know if they were Mardi Gras themed or what, but there were some purple and green M&Ms there, too. All right, next aisle, what do we got here? I'm looking around just to see what might be cool to put in the machines. Um, there's more famous Amos cookies there, which we already bought those at Sam's Club, so we don't need to buy those there. There's some Cheez-Its there, crackers, different things like that. What about those Grandma's cookies like right there? Do you guys use Grandma's cookies in your machines? If so, put it in the comments. Let me know how they do. And I was also kind of taking note of some of these other variety packs here. That one has animal crackers, fudge stripes. That one has Cheez-Its and Pop-Tarts and stuff like that. I don't know. You know, I don't typically love uh, variety packs, but sometimes you got to do what you got to do. All right, let's move on to some drinks. Let's see what all is here. There's some Snapples there. There's some uh, Zero Gatorades or Powerades there. Here's the Gatorades. As you can see, they have variety packs of those as well. No longer do they have the designated all yellow or all blue or anything like that, which drives me crazy. All right, over here to the energy drink aisle. And I will say that we did shopping on multiple days through this video. So I am going to buy some Monster Energy here too because I needed it for both the truck accessory shop and for the laundromat so let's go ahead and buy some here i'll also pick up some of the um the coffee java whatever you want to call it monster energy 2 
for our tire place. And let's talk about upcoming videos, guys. We got lots of great videos on the way. As you know, we've got at least two videos filmed at the barber shop, at least two videos filmed at the truck accessory shop, uh, one video filmed at the laundromat, two videos filmed at the tire shop, and we've got to go film more videos too. So that's why we've been doing three videos a week lately, because we're trying to bang these videos out, but it looks like we might even have to add, drop some bonus videos here and there too, uh, maybe on Tuesdays or Thursdays or Sundays, who knows? Um, Put your put your uh, your day that you think would be best for even more bonus videos in the comments. Let me know what day you'd be most likely to watch. All right, let's move on to the BJ's checkouts. As you can see, everything is uh, self checkout in this section. So we're just going to go ahead and scan our our membership card. We're going to scan our items. So there's Coke, there's Monster, and let's see, Monster Java. We need to scan too. It's uh, it's hidden on the bottom there. So we'll go ahead and scan the bottom of that once we find it. There it is. Okay, scan that. So now we've got all three items scanned. We're going to go ahead and make our payments. And it is self-checkout, but this time, since it's so so expensive here, I'm not going to use a bunch of ones. I am going to use my card. So let's go ahead and put my card in there. We'll move on to the actual receipts and exit the building. And just like Sam's Club, they do check your receipts on the way out. So let's go ahead and pay. Then we'll make our way out the door. Here comes our receipts. And they do give extra long receipts here. It's kind of funny. I always make a joke. So I got three items, right? Look how long that receipt is for three items. It's a huge receipt, right? All right, let's make our way out the door. Again, we're gonna be uh, checked out by one of the door attendants. He's gonna just make sure that our items are good to go. And then we'll make our way back out to the, ven the vending SUV I think we're driving today. But in this video, we we're actually driving multiple ve multiple vehicles because like I said, we went shopping over multiple days over the weeks. Uh, and some of the days too was actually on Valentine's Day. So you'll see uh, lots of Valentine's Day sales and decorations and things like that as we hit stores, especially like Harris Teeter. You'll, that one was definitely on Valentine's Day. All right, up next is Food Lion. And today, I think they have some sales on Pepsi bottles and Coke 12 packs, if I'm not mistaken. Or it might be the other way around. It might be Coke 12 packs or Coke bottles and Pepsi 12. I don't remember. Well, we're gonna learn together though. So let's see, we got a Coke guy stocking up things here. I do need to grab some bottles for sure. Uh, we use these in our truck accessory shop. So let's go ahead and grab some Coke Zero there. We'll grab those. And I can't remember if I need Coke or Sprite or what else I need. Um, looks like I'm going to grab some more Coke. So we'll grab, go ahead and grab that. There's our Coke. And then what else do we need? I know we need, uh, well, we need all kinds of things. We need Dr. Pepper bottles. We need Coke and Pepsi and Mountain Dew 12 packs. Uh, what's on sale for these two? Are these on sale too? I'm looking at, I'm trying to look at the sale signs. And it doesn't look like those are on sale. And uh, I don't know if you noticed too, there is grape crush down there. Because one thing we're always looking for is, gra is, is grape soda for our machines. And we've, we've been buying the Fago. And people have been calling us out in the, in the shopping video saying, hey, I see grape crush in your machines. Well, or in, in, the, uh, in the stores. Well, I will say, guys, the grape crush 12 packs have been running about $8. Where the Fago 12 packs are running about $4. So that's almost double the price and hence why we haven't gone to the Grape Crush cans in our soda machine. So, not too bad. All right, we got ourselves checked out at Food Line. Now, let's move on to the next location, which I think is Harris Teeter. But, uh, so yes, yeah, so this is, like I said, this is during the day. Um, and you know, I love shopping on like Sunday nights because there's no traffic out. There's no people all over the place. You can see there's lots of cars here in the parking lot today. Um, and then here's some traffic. <laughs> so as you know, uh, like I said, this is one of the reasons why I like shopping on Sunday nights and in the evenings because there's just so much darn traffic here during the day. As you can see, it's just bumper to bumper at all times. You can't move uh, here in the suburbs of Charleston, South Carolina. It gets nuts. Anyway, as traffic starts to move, let's go ahead and make our way to our next location, which I think I, I said is Harris Teeter. Um, on Valentine's Day, we're going to be buying up all kinds of stuff at Harris Teeter. Uh, we need some Snapple. We need some sodas. I need to see what else we need. So anyway, let's make our way into Harris Teeter. We're going to go inside. We'll, we'll grab a cart. You can see all the Valentine's Day stuff, all the flowers, all the balloons. There you go. All the candy. Look at all that stuff for Valentine's Day. They, they really did it up here, which I thought was pretty cool. And uh, let's make our way over to the soda aisle. Let's see what we're going to buy today. I know we need Dr. Pepper bottles for sure, because both the truck accessory shop and the tire place are both needing Dr. Pepper bottles. While I'm here, I also noticed there was another sale I was unaware of, so we'll talk about that once we get to that. Here is some Pepsi products, though, 
and looks like the 12 packs are two for 10, which is not a great deal in my opinion. I mean, it's not terrible, but it's not a great deal. Uh, you can see soda's just getting more and more expensive and the sales are getting less and less more frequent. But with these uh, six pack, 16.9 ounce bottles, it's buy two, get two free. And they end up being about roughly 50 cents a piece. So it's not too terrible. So we'll grab uh, four of the Dr. Pepper. Let's see, I, I know I need some Snapple because we're gonna need that for the barbershop. So let's grab one of these Snapple 12 packs. They're $11.99 for one of the 12 packs. So at a dollar a piece, it's not terrible. I would love to get it even cheaper than that, but a dollar a piece is about the going rate. All right, here we go. I didn't know that the sale was going on. So the Sunkist and Canada Dry Ginger Ale were also, I think, buy two, get two free. Yeah, those are buy two, get two free. So we're gonna buy four of those as well because we need orange for the laundromat and ginger ale for the tire shop. So we'll grab those two. Let's make our way over to the self checkouts as, as well. We'll scan in, we'll scan our items. And I am gonna try one of these strawberry ultra dream monster energy drinks. Uh, I posted on my community tab when I, when I found it. It was actually really good. Um, who knows if we'll find those for our machines, but I think it's gonna be a hot seller if you can get those into your machines. It's ultra dream or ultra strawberry dreams by Monster. Zero calorie, it's really good too. Tastes like a really fresh strawberry juice kind of thing. Really good. All right, we're getting uh, all of our items scanned here at Harris Teeter. And uh, I need to scan all the things on the bottom. There we go, let's scan our 12 packs. And you'll see what happens is it adds it all up and then it takes the money off at the very end when you're ready to check out. So even though they're buy two, get two free, it's gonna charge me for all four. But when I go to check out, it's gonna readjust the price because I've used my um, my loyalty program or whatever you want to call it. All right, so there we go. So it looks like $46.37 is what is due. I'm going to go vend like vending life. I'm going to use a bunch of ones and uh, pay it all in one. So not too bad. All right, so let's go ahead and get the, a bunch of ones put in there. Uh, we're going to move on down. There you go. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to show you all the ones. We'll move it down to all the way to the end. Let's get our receipts. We'll make our way back out to the vending truck in this video. And then we've got one more location to go to after this one, which is Harris Teeter. We're going to go to Food Lion once again because we still need more things. So as you can see, we've uh, we've bought a lot of stuff already in this video. We've spent a lot of money, but as they always say, you've got to spend money to make money. And that's the same thing here when it comes to vending. You've got to buy inventory to sell it for a profit, which is what we're doing. All right. Last location, Food Lion. Here it is. We need to stock up a bunch more stuff. We need a bunch of 12 packs. Uh, I think we need more bottles. There's going to be lots of stuff we're buying in this video. So let's make our way into the food line. We'll grab a cart. We'll, uh, like I said, we'll, uh, I think we're gonna go right in and there's uh, one of the sale items right at the front there. And uh, one of the reasons too why we've gone multiple days this week is because the, the sales always start on Wednesdays, right? So I think we did some stuff on Tuesday and then the new sales started Wednesday. So here we are shopping on Wednesday for the new sales. All right, so there we go. Four for 12 on those 16.9 ounce Pepsi products. I'm going to grab two Mountain Dew and two Pepsi. So basically, since they're four for 12, they're roughly $3 a piece. So that's not too bad. Again, it ends up being a, roughly, I think, about 50 cents per bottle. It's not too bad. Uh, maybe a little bit more, maybe a little bit less, but roughly around 50 cents. So there we go. We've got four six packs of 16.9 ounce Pepsi product bottles. Let's make our way over to the soda aisle. And I think Coke products for, in 12 packs are on sale now, too. So let's take a look here. I think they're, what are they? Let's see, can we see? Actually, first, let's go for some uh, some Sprite bottles. So those are also 16.9 ounce, and those are, looks like they're, I know the, those signs say three for five, but those are for the two liters. I can't see what the signs are for the 16.9 ounce bottles. They might also be four for 12. Yeah, they're four for 12 also. All right, and then down at the bottom, it looks like the, um, the Pepsi, I'm sorry, the Coke 12 packs are buy one, get one free. And they run $7.99, so that means it's, they're also about four for, for 12 also technically, or not 12, four for uh, 16. So again, not too bad. We'll take a, a couple of those as well. And I think you can get up to six of them. So we'll go ahead and we'll, we'll pay for three, we'll get three free. While we're here, we're gonna look around and just see if there's anything else we need. We're gonna check on uh, if there's any Red Bull sales as well. Because, you know, I always got to check that. And if you recall in a previous video, we went to a bunch of different food lines shopping for Red Bull because they had a great sale on it. And it doesn't look like there's much of a sale here today on the Red Bull. So we're going to move on. 
Looks like uh, they have the big ones for $19.99, but they don't have the big ones in Red Bull Blue. So again, we're not going to buy those today. But watch for a future video where we're buying more Red Bull because we always need to stock up on the Red Bull. I still haven't seen it on Sam's Club. All right, there's more of that Grape Crush. Again, it's like 8 bucks for a 12-pack. I'm not going to go ahead and buy that. I'm going to go buy more Grape Fago for the machines because it's still about half the price. All right, with that said, it's time to make our way to the checkouts, and then we're going to be wrapping the video up. So once again, guys, make sure you subscribe to Galaxy Games 843. We've got more vending shopping videos, more vending repair videos, more vending collection videos, lots of great stuff on the way. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. It really does help us out. Don't forget to subscribe. And uh, yeah, so let's work our way out to the vending SUV, and we're going to wrap the video up right here. Hey guys, thanks for making it all the way to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed this video of us going around shopping for vending machine, inventory, different products, things like that. If you have anything to suggest, put it in the comments and let us know. Otherwise, don't forget to sign up for our mini claw machine giveaway with myself, Extreme Vending, and the Howard Hospitality Group. Find the link for that down in the description for everything you need to do to win the super mini claw machine. All right, guys, again, we're going to wrap it up right here. Thank you so much for watching. This is Matt with Galaxy Games 843. We'll see you next time.